Alright, welcome back lads and ladies around the world. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In today's, well, video, I'll try to uh, continue my 100%ing of the uh, Court of Fontaine region. We are at 90%, so I guess that I'll be shortly ready for this when it comes out. Um, and afterwards, we have an event that uh, I was uh, many flavors to the <laughs> I was acquainted with uh, when Paimon asked me about it, which is related to Arotachi Ito. And this is the Arotachi Blazing Arm of Beetle Battle Book Champ. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, beetle battles are always a fun time, and apparently they've added. Um, interesting, well, gimmicks to their specific uh, battles, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so let's see, your diet has been quite plain recently, and Pylons have been missing the spice of life and food. As such, you head over to one main restaurant, only to meet several old friends. Thus begins another wondrous round of training quotes. So yeah, we have the third act, uh, the questioning melazine and answering machine, so act 3, questions and answers. I'll still have to do that before we move on to the Aratachi uh, event. So yeah, um, if you guys, if you guys are in, at YouTube are excited about anything Genshin Impact related, um, and well, the VODs when they come on YouTube, Please make sure to leave a like on the video, as it, makes, it helps me big time in this ocean known as YouTube. And also consider leaving, um, consider hitting that subscribe button, as I might be able to push more uploads in the future. So yeah, without further ado guys, let us begin. Alright, you've... Oh, well. Let's go, guys. Question and answers. What do we do now, you crazy? The letter says that this is the second threat now. The second? Oh. Okay. Um. What do you mean, second? What was the first one? You crazy, we're here. Just the people I wanted to see. Did you find anything useful? Well, we discovered that Sir Arthur was stolen by a woman who calls herself Crow or Blackbird. Uh, she seems to have a grudge against you. She left a threatening letter at the scene. Someone took it, but we retrieved it. What? There really was an initial threat? May I take a look? Yeah, so... Two, so I'm going to just read this mysterious threat letter again. Because why not? To the Steambird. Moso's death 30 years ago is still on my mind. So yeah, we know that uh, Moso is a... Well... Is Dr. Moso from the Fontaine Research Institute and apparently his death um, apparently uh, had some stuff regarding um, the Steambird don't know yet too much about that but I guess we'll see Mosul's death 30 years ago is still on my mind whenever I think of your paper's rhetoric which intentionally passes off falsehoods of truth I simply cannot suppress my indignation as such, I have taken Sir Arthur captive. Yeah, so Sir Trapped, that's Sir Arthur, which is the me mechanical bird that you see at the entrance of the Steambird, has been held captive and is MIA at the moment. Um, I eagerly await your paper's sincere repentance. Issue a public apology and surrender Moso's legacy. Should they continue to spin a web of lies that obfuscates the, the truth, 
I will be left with no choice but to slay that steambird. Crow or blackbird? That is the code name that this person has. Crow blackbird. Alright. What? This just be? What do you remember, you crazy? Please take a look at this first. We received a second threat this morning. The senders seem to um, seem to be very agitated. Another mysterious threat letter. <laughs> Outrageously, it would seem that your paper hasn't a shred of remorse. Having not yet caught the attention of the authorities, I made good on my promise by dismembering Sir Arthur and burying him in the field. And buried with him are your paper's evil deeds from thirty years ago. Furthermore, I have spread the word, treasure maps or clues to Dr. Moser's base shall surely, shall surely <laughs> make the treasure hunters come, flock, come flocking, no? Soon, your misdeeds shall come to light alongside that bird's remains. Crow or blackbird? Hmm. This this is interesting to say the least because furthermore this part here furthermore I have spread the word treasure maps or clues to Doctor Moses base this thing specifically clues to Doctor Moses base is well what has been the focal point of the investigation uh, for many of the so-called culprits or yeah witnesses let's say so yeah interesting and yeah <laughs> that too uh, apparently that person dismembered Sir Arthur so and buried him as well oh no Sir Arthur Sir Arthur shouldn't have to suffer we never received the first letter it's all Bolar's fault. So Bolar is the um, Fatui agent that we've encountered at Fleuve Sombre. I just received news that they're organizing treasure hunting groups. They are probably after Dr. Moses' base. Yep, they are quite interesting in that place. But they are only going to find the dismembered Sir Arthur and the... the Unspeakable things that the paper did, I guess. Agent Talshar, I know that the Marshalsea Phantom has a file on the case, but believe me, there are things that even you don't know. Do you know who sent the letter? If I were to guess, it would be Mello Lombroso, Dr. Moser's granddaughter. Mello Lombroso. So. The full name of this guy is Dr. Moser Lombroso. Right. Granddaughter? So, it's a relative? Coming back for revenge? Hmm. Then it would seem that Crow or Blackbird is a question from her. Question? Questions and answers. Everyone, time is of the essence right now. Regardless of the authenticity of what's written in those letters, the reputation of the paper will be tarnished if they are published. Yeah, it seems like it. Will you please retrieve those things for us? In the meantime, I will contact Mello immediately. In that case, I have a request too, you crazy. You know about the clues to Dr. Moser's base, right? You want that? I mean, I do know something, but I can't guarantee that it will help your cause. I can promise that I will tell you everything I know after this is over. It might answer some of your questions. Will that work? Sounds good to me. Any questions? No, I'm pretty sure that I'm ready to go. Wait, Paimon has a question. There are three locations on the map, but where are we going first? If we don't have time, why don't we split up? Trevor and I will go to one location, 
and Paimon and Limon will draw to another. Whoever finishes first will go to the last place. I don't know. Seems like we don't have a choice. That yeah, seems like it. Alright. So, another threatening letter. The second letter, the sign Crow or Blackbird, used to threaten the Steambird, but without Bolar, it proved successful this time. I see the value in my own work, but <coughs> I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. So, yeah. Apparently, uh, this is the perch from which continue with what I had to do. Right here. Alright. Let's see. Come on, Balon. You can do it. Kevin? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Paimon, Nibble, uh, are you here to look for Sir Arthur and the treasures? If Kevin knows, that means everybody knows. I'm not here for the treasures, I just want to send Ar Sir Arthur back. Um, does your mother know? Yes, she came with me, but let's put it up. Oh, and I have to thank you, both of you. After you left the other day, I thought about it for a long time. Then I went to look for my mom, and we talked about a lot of things. So you and your mom made up? I'm glad to hear that. Paimon was wondering why you were so polite today. <laughs> Good for you. Let's look for Sir Arthur, quick. I think it must have uh, been hidden somewhere tricky. It usually doesn't take uh, Boulogne very long to find something. Okay. This dad looks familiar. Well, isn't this Roche's puppy? Who uh. cool. will say old dog looks the same though? Come on. It does look a little like that one. Roche? My mother gave, Miss, gave me this dog and I told it belonged. I mean, that's actually my father's name. And I was mad, and I was mad at him at the time. I got into a fight with my mom previously, and I wound up venting my anger on the dog and kicking him out. Good thing I found him again today, huh? <clears throat> yeah. Wait, so... Are you Boland or Lombroso? Lombroso. The puppy wags its tail exactly as if saying, I don't understand. Whatever the chase, we just need to find Sir Arthur as soon as possible. We have the location mapped on the map, but where could that bird be? Mm, interesting. If only whoever hit it had left something behind. Bolon has an amazing nose and can find things quickly after sniffing. Right, Limo, look into your bag and see if there's anything we can use. Well, um... Give useful items to the puppy to have a sniff. Alright. The puppy will set you as if waiting for something. Uh, something... Uh, this one? Yeah, maybe, maybe this one. Wow, you got it! Balon must have found something. The puppy was its tail, sadly, so see. It's in there. It's in the hole? But the entrance is too small. How do we get in? You can do it, Paimon. I can do it. Let me do it. Uh, I don't want her pretty close to get dirty. Paimon can't let you do that. What if there's something scary inside? I'm a problem kid, so I'm not scared of anything. Just wait, I'll be right out. Dragon swiftly climbs into the hole and drags out the chest just as quickly. I found it! It, it really is inside! You've changed a lot, Kevin. 
You're helping other people with their problems. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see what's inside the chest. Alright. Common chest is that. <laughs> Common chest as well. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's have a look. Open the chest. That's everything. Sir Arthur's That's wing. Next. Um. So yeah, it he has been dismantled. I know Sir Arthur's been dismembered. Don't worry. I think this is it. Let's go to the next location. We have to get there before the others. Yeah, but let me have a look at this. So Sir Arthur's wing, a clockwork wing that belonged to Sir Arthur. What the criminal did was unforgivable. But yeah, and uh, by the way, I got all these um, uh, quest items related to some place uh, in the leafy region, something near the fortress of Meripid. So yeah, uh, something that we can look forward to as well when I and well. And avoidably went go there in, in the future. Um, <laughs> Another test subject. Uh, that too. Davis Smith, Sparrow occupied, Dove Nest. Nothing for it, just deal with him quick. I see everything. Speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> Into the wind. <laughs> Yes, um, it seems like you picked the wrong Ready, test subject. Isn't that right? Brings a smile to my face. Liam's Ballad. Didn't I have a uh, Liam's Ballad before? In my inventory? Finished Liam's ballad? I, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking that I did. Hey. Made the free stop attacking each other. Alright. I do. I have to. Stop! I surrender! <laughs> well, what a coincidence. Are you here for the treasure too? Why are you all here? Don't you believe me? Valbury, we're here to look for Sir Arthur. Are you here for the treasure? <clears throat> ha! I knew this dirty dog would come for the treasure if he heard about the news. And I got him. Um, agents? May I have the chest? I'm looking for Sir Arthur. And if I can return it to the newspaper, I might just be able to get the job. And I can make some money and buy my wife's fiend's batch. How pathetic. Roche, you really think that's why your wife left you? Huh. She left because you're such a pushover. Stand up for yourself like she did just now, and she might look at you differently. R really? Uh, I don't know. Of course. Now be brave and let them have the treasure, or your wife won't be with you even in your next life. Don't say that. Take it, easy. Take it easy. They're nice people. If you help them, they'll pay you back. In that case, thank you. And please take these. Take what? Chest? Um, let me just... Uh, Just to get all I want here. All right, open the chest.
It's... It's Zerofa's body. Oh, so... So cruel. And is there anything else? It should be in the final place. Well, on, come on. We're heading to the next place. And... Uh, <laughs> and and these two are still at are still at it. I mean, Intrepid Valdor is still uh, keeping his promise, so is that? Huh, Lombroso? Where did you run off to? I thought you didn't need me anymore. Uh, the puppy wants its tail sadly, as if saying, "How's that possible?" Lombroso? <clears throat> Lombroso? Uh, Mr. Rocher? Are you mistaken? His name is Bolon. What? If it wasn't for Lombroso's companionship, I wouldn't have made it this far. How should I be mistaken? Not like I can be mistaken either. What's going on here? Hey, can't he belong to you both? Seeing as even I've had more than one home. Oh, that makes sense. Javin accidentally drove the puppy away before, right? Maybe that's when he met Roche and then began roaming around together. It, is that really what happened? The puppy watched its tail sadly as if saying, That's right. <coughs> Valberry, you've got some nerve. The dog wouldn't forget its own its two owners. And as for you, you betrayed your own boss twice. You skinny dog. I'm going to hand you over to the Marshal's Phantom. I'm taking you down with me. Ah, farewell, friends. Try visit me in the fortress of Merapeet someday. <clears throat> Who the heck wants to go visit you there? Well, never mind. Forget about them. We need to hurry up and get to the last place. Okay. Oh, Kevin and Roche. Are you going to fight for the puppy? No way. I was the one who really messed up. Bolon can stay wherever he wants from now on. I am fine with that too. <clears throat> Lombroso supported me when I was at my worst. I'll support him too. Let's get going then. Yes, we don't want anyone to beat us to it. Definitely right. Sir Arthur's body. <clears throat> uh, a clockwork body that belonged to Sir Arthur. The criminal did was unforgivable. Yeah. You said that why you said that twice now. I'm sure there's going to be a third. Only two of them out of three. For two E now? Oh come on. Why? Three agents, of course, and draw the mix. Because why not? I'll say it again. Get out of my way. I'm going to see Boland. We are all co workers here. There's no need to get wrath. Obstructing Fatui. Oh? I'd like to see how good you are now that you've become a mother, Madeline. Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me? Oh, I'd like to see how good you are now that you've become a mother, Madeleine. Don't underestimate mothers. Turf, let's go. Uh-oh, uh they're fighting the Fatui. Got to help out. Speed of light. With sword from shadow. Mode switched off. Paimon, Limo, you came, and you brought Roshi and Chevin. It looks like you're doing well, but we've encountered a hitch up. 
Madame Madeleine and Chivin's father are both members of the Fatui. I'm sorry that we hid it from you before. Um, I'm sorry? Madeleine and Chevin are both members of the Fatui. Just want to live a peaceful life. Fatui? Chevin, um, did you know about this? Yeah, turns out that Papa wasn't avoiding being at home. He was actually working. I, I was wrong about him. This was to be, this was to be his father's last assignment. He was ordered to find Dr. Mosso's base. Once he was done, he would be able to retire early. <clears throat> but I had a bad feeling after you came. I wanted him to give up this mis this mission altogether. Wait. Find the base? Retire early? Kevin's father is... What? How... How... How did I not connect the dots earlier? How could I, how could I have connected, connected the dots? <sighs> the powerful personnel Bolar? That's the one. And we only just found out that Bolar is a code name. He's actually Kevin's father. Mr. Boland. Wow. I saw a letter before between Mama and another man signed with the name Bolar. I didn't realize it was my father, no wonder it was so lovey dovey. I'm glad it wasn't Roche. Everyone's relationships are complicated enough without twists like that. So, where is Boland now? He removed, he removed some s objects from the chest when the Fatui stopped us just before. Uh, detected a figure running away in the distance. Ah, it's Papa. It's, he's fleeing. Come on, hurry. Don't let him get away. <coughs> uh, how? You're stuck, my dude. Don't... St don't stop chasing me. Why are you always going after me? <clears throat> we want to know why you're always running away. Just stop it. Madeline. Why? I did my homework. You're on a mission for a certain Lord Harbinger. Who? Aren't you? And it's a dangerous one too. A Harbinger? Which one? See? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know, but not something... Not s something we can butt him on. We're, we're just peripheral personnel. Even so, I'm one of the better ones. Someone stole a letter, but left the envelope at the scene. Just trimming uh, afterwards. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. I promise I'll be back. This is the last time. Things could get quite hairy with the Harbinger involved. Don't support my actions. Yeah, either then. You've done enough, Boland. Give the stuff to the agents and come back to us. You can move to a place when no one knows us. Mr. Boland, stop hesitating and make up your mind. Make up my mind? Alright, I... Wait, 
Who are you? Um, I... Stop changing the topic. Roland, you don't have any options left. We're not your buddies, you hear? You... <sighs> Fine. I want to be with my family, too. I hope I'm making the right choice. Here's Sir Arthur's head. Great! Father's back! And Sir Arthur is complete. Is there anything else? You mean the treasure? Yes, I came for that, but the head was the only thing in the chest. Maybe the treasure's elsewhere. Impossible! We looked for it, and we didn't find any treasures at the other two locations either. No. No? That's not right, the newspaper. Maybe Mello was just bluffing, and she didn't actually put any treasure in the chests? Wait, Mello? Who's that? Mello Lombroso. Hmm, wait. Lombroso? Wait, Roche. You. Your dog is called Lombroso, too? Well, actually. Uh, Mello Lombroso's my wife. I took her last name too, but she kicked me out, so I was too embarrassed to continue using it. But I miss her a lot, so I named my dog after her. Huh? Maybe it's not my place to butt in, but as a woman, I'm pretty sure she would not find this flattering. But Kevin used your husband's name. I was a problem child. What's wrong with a problem child using a problematic name? <clears throat> oh, I see. So you're problematic too, Mr. Problem. Just to double check, is your wife Melo Lombroso, Dr. Moso's granddaughter? That's right. I mentioned my wife came from a rich family, right? That's the Moso family. What's wrong? Alright. Now, the relationships here are a mess. Now, I hope you're prepared to hear this. Your wife might be the culprit behind the scene. Im impossible. She's pure, elegant, and educated. I swear, it's not possible. But all of our current leads point to her. I don't believe it. I'm certain you're wrong. She should never, ever be the culprit. I think you crazy already contacted your wife. We're going back to the paper now. Do you want to come with us? No. There's absolutely no need, because she's not she's not criminal. Alright, Miss Lynch, you've got another problem. I think you'll find answers one day, though, and then you can be Mr. Answers. Mr. Answers? Anyway, Chevin, we need to go back and get ready to move. Okay, Dad. Uh, farewell, everyone. I'll miss you. <sighs> okay, let me... Uh, this and then this. <clears throat> Still thinking about your wife? Hardly. There's no chance that she's a culprit after all. Not at all. You hear? And what are you contemplating? I'm thinking about <coughs> life. Right. Also, about that Mr. Answers that Kevin just mentioned. What does that mean? Uh, Pylon, do you know? Mm, someone who's good at answering questions, maybe? No one has no idea. How about you, Lombroso? Hope he doesn't speak. Instead, it sits next to the man like an old friend and gazes into the distance. As if looking at the future. Alright. I guess you don't know. But Bobby still doesn't speak. Instead... Okay. <clears throat> Do you really not know? Finally, the dog titsels he tilts his head and looks at the man next to him saying, Look, I'm just a dog. Flying. <clears throat> Crazy. What? What is this? Uh, 
uh, it's still for in regards to the footprints that were there. Alright. Sorry, we were overthinking things. You're crazy. We brought Sir Arthur back in one piece too. In a million, I'll make sure Sir Arthur's station chair off. Also, there's something else. See? What did Paimon say? She won't be worried so worried about Sir Arthur that would, it would affect her appetite. Oh, so we only found Sir Arthur. Uh, not that anyone dropped to the treasure ahead of us either. How can this be? So I suspect that Madame Mello might have been bluffing and trying to intimidate you. So that should reveal... Ahem! <coughs> oh! Anyway, let me introduce this lady here. This is Dr. Moso's granddaughter, Madame Mello Lombroso. She only returned last night from her hometown to the Court of Fontaine. So she can't be the culprit. Good day. In any case, these agents and I are acquainted. I met them when I arrived at the Court of Fontaine last night. Yeah, I saw you. What? Upon hearing about my husband's recent hardships and how he was loitering about around the paper's office, I was worried he'd stir up trouble. So I thought I'd travel over and, that, and that's when I happened upon them discussing something. Yes, I asked someone to ver verify her itinerary. There's no issues there. So if it isn't her, who the heck is the culprit? Apologies for the disruption. Today, upon hearing the news, I came here to clarify that my family never lodged any complaints or the paper about what happened 30 years ago. It was my grandfather's belief that the paper did a good job as well. Thanks for yours and your family's trust. Since everything has been cleared up, I shan't stay any longer. I hope the steambird gets to the bottom of this quickly regardless. Wait, madam, there's something else I must ask you. Do you know uh, the address of Dr. Moss's research base? Wait, so we've got your address, Mr. Mello? Is it you who's in trouble, miss? I would like to help, but I don't know where my grandfather's research base is. Madam? Surely, the good doctor must have mentioned it. I don't understand. If my grandfather has told me something, how could I not know? It's possible you weren't aware of some things. Allow me to explain what happened with the doctor. Now, I intend to be totally transparent with you all. Some believe that 30 years ago, it was the paper's special reporting that stirred up public repute... <coughs> that stirred up public opinion, which led to his demise. The truth is, those articles were not initiated by the paper, but by Dr. Moser himself. Grandfather himself? He never mentioned this. The Majesty Phantom files didn't include this either. Because the deal was out the books, the editor-in-chief back then, my mentor, thought that Dr. Moser's lie detector had the potential to become a hot story. In the first to stir things up would help the paper gain the most influence and recognition. But for my grandfather, how would it benefit him? Your grandfather's research had hit a had hit a bottleneck. He had no more data to feed the lie detector to study, but he needed to drill further, so he planned to get the data from public opinion. Right. In a way, the realm of public opinion is like a massive hub for spreading lies. Countless people are churning out true, false, accurate, and inaccurate data every day. That's true. Dr. Moso thought this lesson on dynamic evolution could surely guide his, his machine to another level of comprehension. And separating the truth from fiction, it would eventually surpass a machine's rules. So, he did, he did it for Curve? However, the doctor and my mentor both underestimated the destructiveness of public opinion. They lost control. As for what happened next, you know the story. 
But the chief evidence that led to Dr. Moses' condition was actually exposed by the paper, right? That evidence was actually provided by your grandfather. He, he provided evidence that criminalized himself? How should that be possible? I'm sorry. I meant to, meant to tell me why Dr. Musso would do this, but it's the truth. Sorry, Editor in Chief, you're crazy. I might need to see transformation from Trevor rather than your words. Biological dictators detected to be normal. Editor in Chief, your crazy is telling the truth. Relevant information retrieved. The most of the trolls within my tour have been modified hundreds of times. The Lord indicates that these modifications were made by Dr. Moso. The Moso protocols were changed a hundred times? So that means the doctor really manipulated the test results. So why would they give evidence of, the, of this in the paper? He planned to confess? But then he requested a duel, didn't he? Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. It makes no sense. He really lied to the public. Why? The data on this question is unresolved. My lie learning module should not provide an answer. Oh great. Now Trey has become a problem, robot. Dr. Moser's research base holds the answer. I can feel it. We must find it. You crazy, you just said that Madame Mello had the clues to the base, yes? On the eve of the duel, Dr. Moser mentioned in a message to my mentor that he would leave the base's location with his beloved granddaughter. He left it to me? Yes. Please write to it all. Did the doctor mention anything to you before he left? I was so young then. Father wouldn't let me go to the duelist ring to see my grandfather. But the last time I saw him was the day he was detained. It was very early. So, did he give you anything? All I remember is that once the duel was finished, my father brought a piece of jewelry that had been cleaned. He said that my grandfather left it for me. Perhaps the jewelry could be connected to the base. Sorry to ask, but could we have a look at it? I wouldn't have minded, but my good for nothing husband sold it to pay off a debt. I wouldn't have minded, but my good for nothing husband sold it to pay off a debt. What? So Roshi gave it to Don't worry. Is this it? Um. Is this it? Feels like um wait. I think I think this is it. did you end up with this? This is a photo of me when I was little. My grandfather took it. Really? What a coincidence. Are there only photos of Madame Mello in there? According to my mentor, Dr. Mercer did leave some clues for you, Madame Mello. Let's take a look. Look, there's a line of test under the photo. Faded under the sunlight, shining under the sunlight. Faded under the sunlight, shining under the sunlight. Uh, what is it? Does something like that really exist? Relevant information retrieved. The different ways in which lies can exist. Different ways in which lies can exist? My grandfather used to say that. How did you... Who are you? May I have the photo? 
curve picks up the photo and raises toward the sky. The sunlight shines through the photo and falls into Curve's, Curve's eyes, as though passing through 30 years in time. Gradually, another image emerges. A map! A map leading to the research base. So that's how he, did, he hit it. I had no idea that we'd already found a base. And the middle, may we... There's nothing to ask. Go. And I just noticed a special friend of yours. Good to see you again, Curve. Greetings, miss. Thank you, Madame Mello. Here's your locket. Let's go now. But we haven't found the person who sent the threats. Don't worry, Paimon. I think you're right in that the criminal doesn't have any evidence and it's just a bluff. So, go. Find what you're looking for. Alright. Questions and answers. Go to Mo Dr. Moroso's base. Uh, Alright. Sorry, guys, but you're just right where I want to be. So. Yeah. Um. It's fine. <clears throat> Not bad. As far as treasure is concerned. What if. <clears throat> what if, um. Not Tomoso's base is actually here. Hey. Just down there. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Uh, oh, that. I want to make sure that I'm thorough, so I'm still going to go there. Get this. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Dr. Moses' base is here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Was that the music as well? That's interesting. sure that if I do this, I'll get close to Dr. Moso, so... Okay, on. Oh, look at this! Get that guy here. The red one. Uh, don't get away from me. Alrighty. Let's make sure that uh, I'm not getting killed by any potential villagers. Oh, well. You little. thought that I would be gentle enough for you. And that should be Dr. Moses' base. Rain outlines your fate. Yeah, I think I know how how that's supposed to to fare. Why are you hypnotized by that? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? 
This has been destroyed by the Hillichurls, I suppose, which is why this gate is opened. I mean, I think. Where is the, um, the Hydrochilus? So the Hydroxylus is there, but is there a way to get it? What is that place anyway? Towns here, here it seems so. Might be a ley line distortion that we have. Alright. What if? I don't, I can't cross this uh, red thing here. Uh, it's like someone was just here. Did they already figure out the little mechanism of the head? Uh, there's a bonfire that's still burning over there on the ground. So why is there a bonfire in a place like this? Let me see what's written on the stone tablet. Well, this place is the Or... Orth... Orphant. Orphant of memory. The hall of memory, the room of memory. Born in an instant, in an instant. Often contradicting your company in eternal rest. Never separated. Fire cannot burn it. Now, uh, right away, the answer has got to be fire. There's a bonfire nearby. Just what kind of breather contains its own answer? Well, that's right. And what do you think it is, then? Mm. <coughs> shadows. Oh, shadows does seem like the right answer. They are with us for our entire lives and can't be burned by fire. Yep. Uh, but what's the point in figuring out the answer to the riddle that's already been solved? Only oh, tell me. So the base is completely submerged? No wonder no one knew where it was. Curve, are you alright? Moisture into the motherboard core functionality. We have to hurry. So I have to go back from where I came. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this way. Didn't see that before. This is probably the entrance, right? <clears throat> I think someone's here. It's possible we just got the map after all. True. Let's check it out. So we came from here. Well. I found a way to... To do it, well, in my own way. <laughs> I thought this was someone else, but it's just Talashar and Truth. So yeah, nothing to worry about. Look at this. We're finally inside. Your home is huge, Turf. Home? Hurry up. We need to find the materials ASAP. I sure hope you left behind instructions on how to fix Turf, Dr. Mo, so. Yeah, but. Moses' diary. Last time, I didn't want Melo to have to have too many snacks, so I said, You're gonna be fat if you keep eating. She tried and ran away. Then her mom taught me to say, You still look great when you're plump. The next day, she climbed up on me and said, Grandpa, exercise, horse ride. How interesting, and this got me thinking. Is the shortest distance between two people actually a curve? That's it. I'll name my lie detector curve. <clears throat> so that's when he decided to call his uh, lie detector curve. Okay, so the bat story of curve and soon in its uh, inception. Why is there a Chen here? This is not good. Yeah, but before I read this diary here, I'm going to get this. Muscle's Diary 2. Notes on ba base backup systems. 1. The emergency exits are at the rear of the facility for use in case of emergency. The cell destruction mechanism and tables are located within the walls. Damage in the walls is strictly, prohi it's strictly prohibited. 3. Using the aforementioned backup system, someone has torn out the next section. Cell destruction system? That's dangerous. <coughs> yes, tell me about it. Alright, uh, can we use this or it's just there as a prop? I guess the third part of the diary is there. Yep, it sure is. Why is there? A hydro bomb here. Alright, most is diary three. Important memo about curve. One blueprint. Two service life and core maintenance. Someone has torn out the next section. What the did someone take all the materials related to curve? How's that possible? We came here as soon as we got the map. Let's keep looking. Maybe it ended up somewhere nearby. Okay, so maybe it's Moses Diary 4? Fourth part? Who knows? <clears throat> A carrot. See where I have to go, but um, let's see there as well. Nothing 
in here. Now, a pyrobomb. <clears throat> um, excuse me, Nahida, I didn't know. I'm truly sorry Nahida, I didn't know that you were so close to that power bomb. Uh, hey. It's fine. You're going to survive. Letter to the editor-in-chief. So, you're crazy. I mean, or not. Maybe her mentor. Um, letter to the editor-in-chief. Draft. Dear Editor-in-Chief, you are correct in your judgment that the matter has reached the point of no return. Um, these last few days, I've heard Moshe's calling for Curve to be destroyed. Last night, radical stu students broke into my lab and tried to do just that. Luckily, I discovered them in time. However, Curve is in increasing danger. I am compelled to act, and my plan is the following. 1. I will revise the most of protocols and related data of no practical significance in Curve's core so that what remains is a sufficiently misleading trail. It will appear lie detectors are not capable of detecting lies and that all the test results were covertly manipulated by myself. Uh, as for the ironclad evidence of fraud and deception of the public, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Kindly select the date for the exposure. <clears throat> 2. As soon as I am convicted, I shall propose a duel. And when I fall in the duel spring, all will be put to rest. 3. I humbly request that you mobilize your paper to divert attention away from the curve. It should be thought of as a useless sham of a machine to be used as evidence in the case and then sealed away by the Marichose Phantom. There's no need to try and change my mind, I have thought through every last detail, and this storm is unlikely to pass until I, the main offender, the main offender am dead. Truth is my life's work, so I can't afford any more missteps. I ask that you exchange my life for this, for his. Everything we've done so far has been effective, and Trove's live learning module has derived redundant data that is incomprehensible. I believe that the seed of life has sprouted within him. Yours sincerely, Mosul Lombro Lombroso. Let's see, is this a secret bet letter between Dr. Mosul and Euphrasis' predecessor? Yeah. He seems to have mentioned something important. Dr. Mosul didn't forge anything, other than the forged evidence, which he forged and gave to the newspapers so it take all the heat. <clears throat> he wanted everyone to focus on him and let, him, and let it end there. He was trying to protect Truth. It seems to be the answer. Updating Lie Learning Module. Running Lie Learning Module. Warning. Movable temperature increasing. Warning. 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 Core functionality down to 8%. Warning. Sure, what's wrong? They sure did get here fast. They sure did get here fast. Just their cruising for bruising. The Fatui. Where did the Fatui come from? 
Repel the Petrol and suddenly appeared. Did someone really get here before us? I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so. This. Whenever you feel ready, you know. All the leaves adorn my rain outlines your speed of light. No you knew it'd be tough. Good thing I got what most are left behind. Prepare to be test subjects. Uh, what is going on with these? I'm not going to be down by these guys. No way. Hmm. Do you really think you'll be able to put me down? Yeah, you too, it seems. You die for your open subordinates. Blast! What's wrong? I have now taken over the cannon's control systems. Trev, are you okay? That's great! <clears throat> Quitch. Quitch, fire the Fatui. Uh, there's no more Fatui. Uh, okay. to fire that way. easy to deal with. No wonder the Fatui has our soul entered to reluctant to face you. Curses, you're not easy to deal with. No wonder the Fatui are so reluctant to face you. Editor Jenk? Why are you here? How do you know about this place? <laughs> you are discussing the base's location so freely watching it right in front of the paper's doors. It would have been rude of me to take advantage of, shot of such rich generosity. Change, you eavesdropped. I was right all along. You're the culprit. <laughs> the culprit? Agent Telshar, are you going to start calling like a crow again? It's useless to try and deny it. <clears throat> you are right. Indeed, I am the culprit. But I only wanted to help this morning if it's choose for an agent to sort out the chase. It's not like she can just write that guy told me a crow, so he must be the culprit. Or something like that in the chase file now, can she? <clears throat> you. Shh, hush now. Wait, wait. Using your brain instead of your temper for once. Surely you must still have a number of questions regarding this case, such as my motives. Aren't you the least bit curious? You just wanted to all of our curves research materials, didn't you? And the papers alleged dirt on most of the results from that then. Oh, looks like that question was far too easy. And as for the second question, I'm merely a low-level editor. How could little old me possibly be privy to such secrets of the paper? How should I know? Uh, you must have learned about it from Bolar. Bingo! It was Bolar who came knocking. 
That's when I realized paper had made a serious error 30 years ago. Just in the downfall of a genius scientist. And more importantly, isn't it truly really lamentable loss that the scientist's legacy has been buried for so long? Shouldn't the paper apologize to the general public for this? What what do you mean? Is it supposing what happened really all you are after? Supposing? <laughs> There's a much more suitable word. Judgment. People will pass judgment on the newspaper like they did Dr. Moso. The paper must take responsibility for this. How how can you make yourself sound so righteous like that with a straight face? But is it not the simple truth? I am the hero who recently exposed the Trumpery's fraud. The righteous and valiant change. That's how everyone should see me, no? No. You sentimonious scoundrel. You just want to profit to profit from all of this. If the public starts to denounce the paper, editor in chief you phrase you'll be in trouble. You you just want a top spot. Excellent. Perfect. I was admit what you imagine isn't completely wrong, so allow me to fill in a few gaps for you. I've already made a deal with Bullard's supervisor. I find Dr. Moso's inheritance for them, and they help me take over the Stingbird. Plus, Ballard's supervisor serves a real... <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> this is important. Plus, Ballard's supervisor serves a real VIP. A harbinger. <laughs> Which harbinger? None of your business. With a harbinger's batching, your freezy wants the chance. And the steambird will be mine. Uh, is it supposed to be... Uh, Alicino? The knave? <clears throat> Jinch, you're just a scorching blackbird with a silver tongue. Won't let you get away with this. You'll have to stay alive to do that. I'm so sorry, did you not hear anything yet? Explosions. Click, click. An ominous sound is echoing through the base. Oh yeah, I'm destroying the base. What is that? Ha! The cell destruction system. How perfect. It just takes a little time to get going. We'd thank you to Dr. Moss for writing the instructions. And thank you everyone for giving me the time. Uh oh. Farewell, little crow, Agent Turf, and you two visitors from afar. Use these last moments to embrace each other, and rest in peace as you are buried along with the truth. Jet practically flies out of the entrance. The door closes behind him with a heavy thud. <clears throat> oh oh, spaghettios! Oh no! So he was the one who took the materials after all. Are we going to be blown to Smith Rains? Calculating survival probability of Mr. Little data insufficient. Calculation failed. Calculating survival probability of Mrs. Paimon. Data insufficient. Calculation failed. Calculating survival probability of Agent Talashar. Calculation successful. Result 1%. Calculating survival probability probably of probably calculating survival survival probability of own cold module. Calculation successful. Result one percent. How can this be? No, no, no. Emil, you've got to do so we've got to do something. Can we dig our way out? The cell the cell destructs cables, run through the walls, breaking through could lead to an early detonation. As truth attempting to force the door. I'll do my bit I I'll do my best to protect you. All of you. <clears throat> Is this all because of me again? Agent Alashar, don't blame yourself. There's no need to worry everyone. Because I am able to shut down the base's self destruct system. Huh? Kurt? Why didn't you say so earlier? I was getting all, all worried for for nothing. You didn't ask earlier. 
We did the mask. <laughs> well, seems like you even have a sense of humor. Now tell us what to do. Please kindly withdraw my core module and place it in the base's control panel. Then I will be able to open the safe room lock. There is a button that disables the self destruct system inside the safe room. I mean, you open the door for us, we go to the safe room and press the button inside, and everything will be taken off? That is correct. And you, Trevor, can your troll be removed from the control panel afterward? I must say, stay connected to the control panel, otherwise, the safe room will relaunch. Seems like we should take care of the self destruct system first. Urgent, please act fast. Mo, take Charles' core and place it in the control panel. All I want to do is deactivate the self destruct system. Curve, will this really work? I think it might be a bit. Please take action. Repeat, please take action. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Please, please, please take. Body and mind. Place Curve's core into the control panel. The door to the safe to the safe room opens with a light shutter. Should be fine by thinking like this. <coughs> Double shot on still around. Body and mind. Let's go! Why are there bombs here? I'm going to explode them just in case. Is this it? It doesn't seem like a safe room. And where's the button? Curve, what is this place? We can't see any buttons. Huh? Hey! Hey! Why did you... What? The door, the door just closed. Curve, what's going on? How do we stop the base from self-destructing? The self-destruct system cannot be deactivated. <clears throat> what? So are we... Apologies. Please escape as quickly as possible. Go with the flow, without touching any of these barrels, because it might kill us. So. <clears throat> Curve. Why? What? Curve. Why? This is so unjust. I don't know what to say, to be honest. Well, Jack, I'm sorry, my dude, but it seems that you have to die. Just now. No. I need to get back to go back and find Turf. Uh, um, tell Sha, don't be too reckless. Going back is extremely dangerous. Yeah. It was just an explosion and it's so deep underwater. Turf wouldn't want you running right back into danger. You are. You are correct. I shouldn't act like this. But didn't say the cell district mechanism could be, could be shut off? He lied. He can't shut it down. His core can only open the emergency exit. So then why? His core had to be inside the control panel to open the emergency exit. But he's smart now. He 
he knew we wouldn't leave him behind. So he lied to us. Oh wow. Did you not really think like that? When that when did he <coughs> It must have been Dr. Moses letter that made Turf understand the final question. He learned about what Dr. Moses did for him. Turns out I'm useless after all. If only I were more competent, maybe I could have helped him break the protocols and wouldn't have had to come here. But the letter might just have been the final push. That's right. Don't blame yourself. Charles' breakthrough probably started a long time ago. His breakthrough had already started? Let's say you eat a hundred slimes in one sitting and get super fat. I'm on. Why are you saying that? You can't blame it all on the last slime. <clears throat> it's the same with Curve. Even if the doctor's letter was crucial, all the work she did with Curve before wasn't wasted at all. Is that really true? Well, I don't know. Curve. The question you're leaving behind, I may never understand it. Anyway, thank you. I know what we should do next. Catch that awful scoundrel Jank. <clears throat> Absolutely. Definitely. He must be tried for his crimes. And just like that, you and Talashar return to the court of Fontaine and start hunting for the dastardly Jank. Surprisingly, Despite several days of intense investigation, you turn up no no leads. You turn up no leads. It seemed like Jank had vanished. No one had seen him, nor had any negative news regarding the Steambird surfaced. Uh, up until one day, editor in chief Euphrasia sends you a message requesting to meet in the city. Um, whose supervisor? Has, had been appointed by a harbinger, but we don't know which harbinger is it is. <coughs> so yeah. Wow, translate to repeating. Okay. Sorry. You're finally here. Yeah? It turns out that we don't know our own people well enough. You think? This allowed an employee to create some serious trouble. I offer my sincerest apologies, especially to you, Agent Talashar. It's not your fault, you crazy. Right now, the important thing is that we stop that odious scoundrel. By the way, you were so anxious to meet us, is it because he contacted you? Actually, I received a message. Earlier this morning, Jane was left in the Opera Epicus all trussed up. So I contacted you immediately. He's been caught? By who? I was still not sure. By the time he was found, he seemed to have lost his mind. He didn't react to any external stimuli at all. He was just kneeling on the stage of the opera Epicles. He looked like a doll that had just stood trial. The Maison Gardina Schultz took him in. When they examined him, they found that his tongue was missing. Wow. They cut off his tongue. Or did he do it himself? Which I don't know about. <clears throat> His tongue? Oh my. That's terrifying. The Maison de Lionage also discovered a note in his mouth. It said something to the effect of making amends to you. 
Mr. Dravzinesh also discovered a note in his mouth. It said something to the effect of making amends to you. <clears throat> making amends to us? You, Paimon Talashar. Your names were written on the paper. Seems like the person who was backing him wants to apologize to you three. It appears they don't want to make enemies out of you. Or maybe they feel quite strongly about what happened to Ancient Curve. Those are the only possibilities I can think of. The person behind him... <clears throat> the person behind him... I'm only remembers Chent said that he had a deal with um, a Fatui Harbinger. Which one? A Harbinger interested in machine intelligence. The Tory? Yeah, the Tory. Yeah. How about Dr. Muscle's legacy? Jank Sotra took all of our curse design and research data. <clears throat> Gone without a trace. That wretched Jank. That's what happens when you decide to go full, to go full evil. Because his chance has been, has him been tried for his crimes, right? Oh, we don't know how who the judge is. So what's, so that's what happened. I didn't catch him pers personally. At least I feel like he finally paid for the crime, the price for his crimes. Hmm. Since all of your names are on the paper, the Maison Gardinage will probably want to pay you a visit. I'll go over right now and spin your thing so it won't bother you. Finally, how the case can end here. Wait, Agent Talashar. Would you mind going back to the newspaper with me? Why, you crazy? If you want to convince me to write your fancy column, it's not happening. Still in to joke, I see. It makes me, it makes me feel much better. <clears throat> Let's go. I wasn't joking at all, you know. I will work very hard and do my best in Marcia's Phantom. That's wonderful, Talashar. Paimon is happy for you. Please have a look. We fixed Sir Arthur. Yippee! Whoa, it's Sir Arthur! We almost forgot about it. Good job! Sir Arthur sure has been through a lot. By the way, Hammond still doesn't know what kind of uh, bird Sir Arthur is. A pelican. A uh, pelican? You mean the kind of bird that's an amazing eater? But why would the steamboat's master be a pelican? It doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the newspaper at all. <laughs> I'm not clear on that either. It was a decision my mentor made after the incident with Dr. Musso. <clears throat> Maybe he felt it's cuter than, say, a crow or a blackbird that squawks, squawks all day long. Hey, you're crazy. You know what? You're trying to resemble a pelican hiding food in its pouch right now. <laughs> anyway, Agent Talashar, do you remember how Agent Turv and I interviewed nearby residents at the start of the chase? <clears throat> of course. You took the opportunity to blow our cover. I was really sorry about that, but that was when I asked him what kind of person is Agent Talashar. What? Ah, Paimon remembers. Euphrates came back and commissioned us right away. Were you awed by Talashar's brilliant track record? Why don't we check with Sir Arthur on that? During the repairs, I added with Agent Curse said. Wait, wait. During the repairs, I added what Agent Curse said to Sir Arthur's voice library as a memento. Oh. Quickly, tell us what Curse said, Sir Arthur. 
Based on my analysis, Agent Telashar will be the best agent in the Marishos Offensive. Really? I'll be the best? But would Trevor really have said something like that back then? Maybe back then he already learned to. Yeah, that's gonna be it, Talashar, since you are Trevor's handler. You must be the one who fed him the first 99 slimes. Way to, way to um, break the metaphor, Paimon. That seems to be the answer. Well then, Truth, I will be the best agent in Marsha's if hands him. Uh, at least I hope so. For you. And for us. <clears throat> the statue of the seven, because I already have all the necessary elements for... Um, well, for another level, <clears throat> throw a blackbird. It's a pelican. 